Hey, my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. And today I'm going to do a review of how two of my DIY designer boxes went. These ended up actually being two pretty decent ones that I got. Um, they were from about seven months ago, so it's been a while. They've had stuff been listed a lot of it has sold some of it is still available so I figured it may be helpful for people to see you know it's great to see what we get in these boxes but does it actually sell am I actually making my money back on them so I will link the videos below if you want to see the actual unboxings but I'm gonna put the pictures up of the things that I can um for you to see here and let you know what they sold for or if I sent them somewhere else to sell and whatnot. So the first thing in video number one was a Veronica beard dress. The style was the Amy dress and it was pretty much unflawed. It had a little bit of a deodorant mark that came right off which is great in these boxes to get something that was in such good shape. So it took a long time to sell. It actually just sold this week, which two things from this video actually sold this week, which kind of prompted me to go back and look and see um, if I could review a couple of these. So this took about seven months to sell and it sold for $60. I had it listed much higher. I think it was originally listed for about $175. Um, but this piece really was not getting very much interest. So when I got this offer, I went back and forth with this girl a couple times and ended up selling it for 60 And um, after fees and everything, I more than doubled my money on what the cost of goods was. So it's fine. The second thing to sell or in the video was it also did sell, but it was this Alice and Olivia sleeveless turtleneck. It was actually new with tags. I have no idea why it ended up in this box. It definitely would not be considered DIY, but happy to have gotten it. It sold in just a couple days, which was great to, you know, get my money back quick on that one. And it sold for $60. The third thing was this top from the brand. I think you pronounce it like Faconable something along those lines. It's not a good brand. It definitely should not have been in these boxes. I ended up sending it back to ThreadUp and I got about $10 for it. Um, so I didn't make my money back on that piece in particular, but it wasn't worth me listing. I was only going to get about $15 for it, listing it on Poshmark myself. So I was kind of annoyed that piece ended up in the box, but as you'll see, you know, it was fine. We made our money back on this box anyway. So in the end, wasn't a big deal, but not, not something I would have considered designer. Then next was not a great piece either. It was a top from Rebecca Taylor, which sometimes her stuff does okay. It definitely is an expensive brand. Um, I would consider it more like a high-end name brand than designer, but whatever um i sent that into the real real i don't think it's actually sold yet so i'm probably gonna get scraps for it you know like a couple bucks but it was cold shoulder peplum it was very dated it wasn't something that i was interested in selling myself so we'll see what we get back from them eventually and then this next piece was still or is still listed and that is a Burberry blazer. It has gotten very little interest. I have sold a few men's blazers from Burberry before, um, but this one is not drawing in any attention. So this is kind of prompting me to think maybe I'll um, take it down from my Poshmark and send it into the real real. And then next we have the other item that sold just this week. Um, and that was these Manolo Blahnik heels. And I have gotten a few really good pairs of shoes by Manolo Blahnik in these boxes, but these were not one of them. They were pretty dated and not in the best shape. So they ended up actually just selling for $25. Um, so I did just make my money back on them, but um, I was happy for them to sell. 
and I only had them listed for 50 because they really were kind of a mess. So uh, seven months later, getting my money back on those. And then the last thing in the box was probably the best piece. And that was a pair of Valentino flip flops with the studs on them. So we know that anytime you can get like a signature style piece from a designer that it's probably going to do the best like when you can get Novacek from Burberry or like the monogram print from Louis Vuitton the studs are definitely Valentino's um kind of signature style so those sold for a hundred dollars in just about a month and I was really happy with that after um what has already sold and there's still two pieces left to sell. I have made um, about $250 from this box, which it costs $120. So yes, I absolutely made my money back and made you know a solid profit on top of it. And hopefully the last two pieces will still bring in some kind of money for me as well. So this one I would call a win. And then... The second video was filmed about six months ago and I think this one may be one of my best ones that I've gotten so far. I got Chanel in one but those haven't sold yet so can't say if that one might beat this but this one has been really good even though there was a couple pieces that weren't winners we got some really great ones. So the first piece was a Nicole Miller leather jacket and it was super heavy so I'm glad that it wasn't like one of those boxes that was by weight because when I got that box I was excited I was like this is a really heavy one maybe there's some great boots or a jacket or something in it and we did get a jacket but not from a brand that I would consider designer at all um I would not even normally pick up Nicole Miller in the thrift store for very cheap let alone twenty dollars for um a piece but that one I have listed still for $50. It has a handful of likes, but I don't see it selling for very much. And then the second one was a really nice sweater from Weekend Max Mara, um, which is just a line of Max Mara, but I don't really see too much difference between Weekend and regular Max Mara and um, all of those different lines. So this one sold within just a couple days for $100. The only flaw on it was it had no size tag. It was like a 2022 piece, so it was very current, really cute. Um, it sold in October, so it was, you know, going right into the right season. So that one was awesome. And then the third piece was a dress from Alice and Olivia. It is still listed on my Poshmark. It had no size, and it was kind of one that was a little hard to judge the size on because the um, sides are open on it and it has tears and ruffles. It's cute, but it's a little dated. Um, if it doesn't sell by the end of summer, I might take it down and send it into the real reel. And then we got a, another win with a pair of Brunello Cuccinelli sneakers and they also were super current. I think they were still listed on the website for sale when I found or when I got this box and those sold um, in just a couple of weeks for $175 which alone paid for the box so that was fantastic. They were in really good shape. Um, I think I had them listed for about $300 and was happy with this offer. Um, it was the first time I've sold this brand so I didn't really know um, you know how much they were going to go for. They retailed for something like almost $1,100 for a pair of sneakers, which was crazy. But anyway, glad they sold for 175. And then next was this pair of Lanvin sandals. They are still listed. I have them listed for $100, which may be too high. So I think I'm gonna decrease the price of those and see if we can get those moving. Um, they're in pretty decent shape. They're just probably a little out of style, but they seem like a nice pair of shoes. I'm not super familiar with that brand. And then we had an Escada blouse. It had a little bit of staining on it, which did come out in the wash. 
um, but it was vintage and a pretty weird style. I ended up sending it to the Real Real and it sold, um, I don't know what it sold for, but I got $14 for it. So didn't make my money back on that piece, but I at least got something back and I don't know if it would have sold on Poshmark or if it, it did, it would have probably still been sitting or taken a really long time. And then to finish out the box was a pair of Balmain collabed with Giuseppe Zanotti boots and they were a pretty wild pair of boots. They had buckles all over them, a very high heel. Um, the heel had some damage on it or I probably could have gotten more, but in about a month they sold for $187, which was an offer that I believe I sent someone um, through my Posher VA because um, I probably had them listed for about 250 or something like that. So I was thrilled to get that back and really quickly too. Um, they were a nice size. They were like a 41, I think. So those were a great sale and I was really happy with how quickly those sold. I think if I did the math right, I made $462 on that box, which cost me 120. So that one was, I think to date, the best one that I've had. Um, and I still have a couple things listed to sell. Um, I, hopefully the Landvin sandals will still do decent. I don't know if the other two are gonna bring much in, but all of it adds up to the total. And overall, I'm definitely happy with those boxes. The ones that I've gotten more recently have not been as good as these ones that I got close to a year ago. And I can almost never find them listed for sale anymore. But if I do ever come across them, I still buy them. And um, I think that as long as you're willing to clean things up a little bit, list some things that maybe are questionable or send them somewhere else, that there's definitely money to be made in these boxes and I am happy with what I did make. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.